Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Monday, the 22nd of January. I'm James Spann. An active weather day today, a cold front pushing a band of showers and strong storms in here. Let's take a look. Here's the upper air look early this morning. Very deep upper trough approaching from the west. Very good dynamic support. We had severe storms last night through parts of Texas and Arkansas. The batch of storms this morning blowing through Memphis at 5 o'clock, right down the Mississippi River. No warnings in effect at this point. The storms have been weakening slowly for the past few hours. Based on the current rate of movement, looks like they'll be entering the northwestern tip of Alabama maybe by 8 o'clock this morning. They're coming along at a pretty good clip, a little ahead of schedule. Very mild this morning. We're in the 50s, Birmingham at 58. And again, these temperatures are pretty close to our average highs for the 22nd of January. We'll see a high in the 60s today. Now, behind the front, it's pretty cold in the western states, but the coldest air stays there. We'll just catch kind of the edge of that. We'll expect highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s for the rest of this week. Very seasonal, right at averages for this time of the year. How about a blizzard warning this morning for parts of Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, southern Minnesota? Winter storm warnings up into parts of Wisconsin and upper Michigan. And we have a marginal risk of severe storms for much of the state today, except for the Tennessee Valley. The area is in darker green. That's the lowest end risk, one out of five. Uh, the main threat will be from strong straight line winds. The tornado probabilities today look like this. Uh, within the marginal risk, a 2% chance. So the tornado threat is very low, but not zero. And then tomorrow, maybe some thunder on the East Coast, but no severe weather expected. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Again, very big numbers for the upper Pacific coast. And down here, the amounts one inch or higher. That takes into account the rain we get today and the rain we see this weekend with the next rain producer. So model fans, let's check it out. Here's the GFS, the 06C run at noon today. And there's your upper feature to the west. Surface low is over the southwest corner of Iowa east of Omaha, big snows, blizzard conditions for parts of Nebraska, southern Minnesota. And you can see the trailing front down through Memphis and Lake Charles with showers and thunderstorms pushing into Alabama. Here's the high resolution her model at noon today, uh, showing the showers coming through. And again, the overall severe weather threat is not overwhelming because of this. This is the instability at noon. There's just really not much over the northern half of the state. And we say this a lot. It does take a lot of cape for severe storms in the cold season, but when you don't have any, that really makes it pretty tough. The better instabilities are down over southwest Alabama uh, toward the Gulf Coast. Now, the helicity values, yes, they're very high, as you might expect with a system like this. Uh, this is the zero to one kilometer storm relative helicity. But again, with no instability, that's a problem for severe storms. This is the STP, the significant tornado parameter. The uh, values are higher uh, down over southeast Mississippi, southwest Alabama. The units, one, or one to two units there. So as always, you have to watch the radar in days like today. But again, for the northern half of the state, the severe weather threat is not exactly overwhelming. It's pretty low. So tomorrow, everything's on by. Uh, the sky should be... Partly to mostly sunny, cooler. We start the day around 40. The high would be in the mid-50s. This is Wednesday. Early Wednesday morning will be around freezing. Lows around 30. And again, the high in the middle 50s. The sky will be sunny. Those temperatures pretty close to seasonal averages. Same thing Thursday. And Friday. We start to warm up a little bit. We might approach 60 Friday afternoon. Uh, the sky mostly sunny. The winds veer into the south, and this is Saturday, and you can see moisture surges north, and we will need to bring in a chance of rain on Saturday. Uh, no severe weather threat, no, probably not much thunder, if any at all. The high would be in the low 60s, and we're not saying it's going to rain all day, but certainly a chance of rain at times, and the GFS is suggesting that the uh, chance of rain could linger into Sunday. So uh, for the weekend, it looks cloudy. A chance of rain at times both days, highs in the low 60s Saturday, mid-50s on Sunday. And a week from today, 
Monday the 29th, troughing on the East Coast. That looks cool and dry. Lows around freezing, highs mid-50s. No Arctic air. Look at the end of the forecast period here. This is Wednesday of next week, the end of January, 31st of the month. Troughing over the uh, northwestern states and north central states. And again, for us, moisture starts to increase. That's suggesting maybe a chance of showers toward the end of next week. Do we dare look at the European Ensemble at 360 hours? Oh, why not? Uh, and again, you know, we, we've been watching the colder air that's over Siberia. And uh, this is suggesting, and again, this is 360 hours out. This is like the 5th of February. but uh, And this is Ensemble output, not deterministic that there's a chance that we could see some pretty cold air coming down through Canada into the United States. Just something to keep an eye on, no way to be specific at this point. And the number is really very seasonal. Most days for the next 15 days, highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, join us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.